So I'm here at the start line, looking a little bit knackered already because it's not been the smoothest of mornings. Uh, top tip, always get your kit for a big adventure ready the night before, not on the morning. Um, but anyway, I'm here in Stockport. I'm looking to follow the Trans Pennine Trail as close to the river as possible, uh, all the way to Liverpool. I'm six miles in and I'm in Northenden, still on familiar territory, just up the road from me really. Uh, I'll let the drop here on the uh, on the northern lap and uh, the motorway over there in the distance. So we're going to continue heading over that way and uh, yeah, all good so far. Okay, this doesn't look like a huge deal, but um, this is the first navigation win. I'm notoriously not great on navigation. Um, so this was the first deviation somewhere around a place called Kikiti Brook, which is a lovely name. Um, and we had to leave the river, go around a load of different trails, lots of different twists and turns, picking which direction to go before navigating a bit of the motorway, which yeah, somewhere over that way, and then finding the river again. And look, the river. Okay, we're here somewhere on the Transpennine Trail. We've left the river. Um, no way to follow the river at this point. Too many private golf clubs. Fully fueled up now, thanks to the local co-op. And uh, on we go. Okay, I'm uh, still on the Trans Pennine. Did lose it for a little bit, but uh, back on it now. Quick stop here to uh, grab some fruit pastels. Back on the water now. On the beach. Well, I 
um, in Liverpool proper. Okay, that is it. We are gone. Stockport to Liverpool in, let me see, six hours, 55 miles. And uh, I think that's a good enough place to stop. There's a big wheel behind me. There's some crazy people uh, messing about in the water. Fun. Yeah, like fun. Um, instead, I'm going to go on, find a train, uh, find some food, and uh, try and find my 